in my brand new bathroom. Um, I have no idea where to shoot yet, so forgive me. Um, but I am here today to show you um, this updo. Uh, this updo, um, I have worn a lot, a lot, a lot, and I uh, wear it to a lot of weddings. So it's perfect as a wedding guest. It's super easy to do. So let's get right to it. With this hairstyle, first you just dry your hair like normal. Do not straighten it. Um, when you straighten it, the curl doesn't last very well. So um, let it all loose. You know, um, you put a little bit of product in it. Don't put a whole lot, otherwise it will um, weigh your hair down a little bit. And you will need your handy dandy curling iron. I like this one because it has the double barrel in it and it makes it a lot curlier and that's the look that we are trying to achieve for this wedding um, guest look. But you can also use the, um, the, the, tri the cone, is that what it's called? I don't know, the cone curling iron. Um, that works as well, just as long as it has a nice high heat setting um, and you can get some good curl. I don't like um, normal curling iron just because I don't get that curl and it doesn't last as well. So, so you will also um, need um, some bobby pins, whatever color your hair is, and you will also need some awesome, awesome, awesome um, hairspray, firm hold hairspray. Um, because if you're going to a wedding, you're going to be dancing, you definitely want something that is firm. I love this Frizzies um, John Frieda. Um, it is the moisture barrier protector. Um, it's amazing. I've been using it for years. I will not stray from it. But um, if you have something that you like better, go for it. Um, you'll also need a handy dandy hairbrush. Sorry, mine is full of all disgustingness. So, um, just first of all, um, you know, brush out your hair a little bit, and then you want to separate your hair into two little pieces. And then I always spray just a little bit, nothing crazy. And we do this, and we're okay. good. So we just totally changed where things were going, but that's okay. Here we go. Hopefully you can see very well. So um, we just start off, I always start off with the smaller portion of my hair. Take the curling iron. And what I like to do is I like to get the hair um, not only in this barrel, but also on top of um, this little spiral as well. I feel like it gives it that extra little curl. So then you have like two little ringlets as opposed to one. Um, so try to do that. I don't know. It took me a while to perfect it. So, you know, I definitely understand that it's um, not super, super easy. So you just keep on going. I guess you're grabbing like about an inch, inch and a half worth of hair, nothing crazy. And don't keep it for too long. You don't want to be like the poor girl on YouTube who burns her hair off. So um, just keep it there for a little bit. And there we go. We have the spiral. You just keep on going all over your head. Again, I will show you how to get it um, kind of in between the barrel. So do this. And then I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's in between the, the spiral portion. And you just kind of want to do that all the way up. And when you have shorter hair, it actually, it actually is nicer because then you get all of the curl on top. When you have longer hair like me or like super long hair, you can't really get the, um, the super spiral way up top, but you'll get the effect and that's really all that matters. So you just keep on going around your head. Hopefully you kind of get it by now. I mean, I'm telling you it is super, super easy. The only thing that I'm going to tell you is do not brush it out. So after you're done um, with this side, you'll go to the next side. Do not brush it out um, because the whole point is to have that. Um, I just got my hair done at the salon look. Um, so yeah, like you can see, they're total ringlets. It, you kind of look like Annie, but um, I'm telling you, it'll give an awesome look once you actually put it in the updo. So um, I will speed up this video for you, and I'll see you when I'm ready to pin it up. Okay.
see I have the ringlets going. So because some of these pieces that I did over here were big chunks, I'm actually going to like right here because some of these um, on this side, because I'm going to bring all of the hair to this side, I'm actually going to um, take take some of it down. Um, not, not a whole lot, like a ringlet or two, just so it has that fun little look of not too, too, str I mean, it's not going to look structured, but I definitely want some pieces coming out of it um, just because I just like that look. So, but if you don't like that look and you want it super, super tight, go for it. Um, I mean, you really cannot screw up this, this hairstyle. So I'm just doing a few by my head. I just love when they're super, super ringletty. Um, because that really, um, that's going to look awesome um, when you actually put it up in the little bun right here. So I'm almost done. Okay, perfect. And then we want to spray, ah, even get the bangs and even the makeup. Um, you know, even if you don't, if you don't have um, this tip, if you don't have makeup setting spray, Spray, spray your face with hairspray. I know that kind of sounds gross, but um, it actually will keep your hair, your hairspray, keep your makeup in place, especially when you're dancing on the dance floor and sweating a lot at a wedding. So it's perfect. Okay, so spray, spray, spray. And then what I do is sometimes I do leave, you know, a few of these down, and you just bring the hair on over. Try not to run your fingers through it too, too much um, because again, you want all of that texture um, in the back. So then just bobby pin the heck out of it. And I usually just start by swooping it over. I know that kind of looks really weird. Um, so I start by swooping it over so that it's all on this side. So you don't need too many, um, uh, whatchamacallit, bobby pins. Um, and I know it totally looks weird what I'm doing with my with my arm, but it's just how I do it. So yeah, you just keep on pinning, pinning away, pinning away. And what I also like to do sometimes, if I want it even fuller on this side, is I bring some of that hair over onto this part so that you have like some big dramatic stuff going on here. So I'll do one more right here. And again, just get bobby pins that are your color, otherwise, you're going to um, have, I mean, it's gonna look weird. I mean, I feel like that's a known fact, but you know, I just like to say it. So I always then like to hairspray it again because we want everything kind of in place. And then you kind of just pin where you see fit. So I always then do a little something right here. Um, and then, yeah, you just pin away. Um, sometimes uh, what's really helpful is if you get the, um, the pins as opposed to bobby pins. And of course I didn't grab those, so I'm just gonna show you how to do it with bobby pins, but I will slow-mo, or not slow-mo, I'll fast-mo, and um, you'll get the idea. So here we go. Keep it um, like this. I do love this look as well. Um, but if you do, again, want it more structured, keep on pinning. Um, I do sometimes, um, especially for my cousin's wedding in Mexico, I really wanted it plastered to my head because it was windy and hot and sticky. So um, usually it's really nice for, um, for when you know it's gonna be hot out. Um, and actually, this is a fun look if you're going to Florida too and you just want your, your hair out of the way, this is a fun look as well. So like I said, I do keep um, a little something something here um, just because it, it, it evens out. I don't know, it looks really, really nice when you do that. Um, and then I think I'll be done in just a little bit. So then we have this really, really, really nice updo. And again, spray the wrap out of it. And if you have bangs, swoop them to whatever side that you do it on. My side actually is the same side that the hair is on. And yeah, so here we go. Here is the updo that I am famous for. Um, 
Yeah, I guess I am. I, I do. I wear it to so many weddings and I get all, so many compliments. So it's super, super easy. It doesn't take time at all. It takes maybe, oh goodness, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Um, and hopefully you now have a new hairstyle for your next wedding. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment on my blog or down below. I will also have information on the products that I used um, and a link to my blog. Again, my blog is www.the-fbonds.com. Thank you so much and please subscribe. Talk to you soon. Bye.